Earlier this morning, the White House announced a new task force that's going to be focusing on strengthening critical U.S. supply chains. This comes in the wake of pandemic era shortages and important products like semiconductors. Joining us right now to talk more about it is Jared Bernstein. He's a member of President Biden's Council of Economic Advisors. And Jared, um, this is a problem we all know ha has really come home to roost in a big way. W what does this proposal plan to do? Well, first of all, thanks so much for giving me a chance to come out here and talk about it. You know, remember the old beer ad, taste great, less filling? When it comes to uh, U.S. supply chains, the touchstone here is more resilient, less fragile. Now, how do we get there? Bring back advanced manufacturing, making a strong play for a global share in large battery capacity, diversifying access uh, to critical inputs. And, and this involves, as you suggested, a task force making both a near-term and a longer-term play. In the near term, we have a task force with the Secretary of Agriculture, Commerce, and Transportation all getting together to try to alleviate some of the bottlenecks in home building and construction, semiconductors, transportation, and food. Over the longer term, uh, semiconductor manufacturing, an area the, the, the president and the uh, Congress, the Senate in particular, has been talking about making deep investment in, in, again, standing up a large capacity battery, electrical vehicle sector, critical materials and minerals and uh, pharmaceuticals as well, which very much connects to your initial comment about the way supply chains served us poorly in, in, in the early pandemic. Hey, Jared, uh, manufacturing here in the United States is a big issue, especially when it comes to things like uh, semiconductors. We've already heard from Intel making plans to go ahead and build a plant, uh, but this takes a long time. This is not near-term stuff. Near-term, though, what, what about looking at tariffs? I, I mean, when you look at things like lumber, uh, aluminum, steel, those are, those are issues that ha have really plagued American companies uh, more than their European counterparts. And, and when you talk to a lot of people, a lot of economists, they will point back and say it was those tariffs that were put in a few years ago in the Trump administration and that have been upheld and have been increased by the Biden administration that are to blame for this. Yeah, I was, I was one of those economists and probably was talking about it on this very station. So I think you're bringing up a completely fair point. Uh, I think when it comes to the tariffs, there are lots of stakeholders, lots of different uh, folks on both sides of the issue. So from the White House, uh, that's a, uh, an issue that's going to take some negotiation. But when it comes to seriously attacking the supply chain problem, uh, it, it, if you look at what we put out today, uh, we talk about this both in the near term, and we, we put everything on the table, but we're also talking about long-term interventions, using the Defense Production Act, deploying a, a task force that's going to do a deep dive into the areas I've mentioned before to figure out the constraints that uh, plague us. We, there are many misaligned incentives. There are short-term incentives in private markets that we have to reverse. We have to think about some of the industrial policies that some of our competitors use. You know, it's not just an accident or a coincidence that South Korea and Taiwan are where the main uh, semiconductor uh, production fabs are and why when, when, when that non-resilient supply chain took a hit, uh, it got us into the situation we're into now. So uh, this deserves, as you suggested, a deep dive that's both long-term and near-term. Well, let's talk more about those tariffs, because you yourself have said that you're opposed to them, but the Biden administration has increased some of the tariffs that were put in, specifically when it comes to steel. Why? Well, I think when you're in the White House, it's a much more complicated uh, set of issues than when you're, you know, an economist coming on to talk about, you know, pure economics. Uh, th this is not just economics. This is political economics, and it's international economics. And there are uh, groups uh, within uh, both uh, our administration and, and, and the U.S. Uh, uh, trade representative, uh, uh, of course, part of our cabinet, uh, that have all kinds of stakeholders that they have to deal with in this case. Uh, on the pure economic side, sure, we need to make sure that everything uh, that, that could help uh, alleviate some of the supply chain bottlenecks, particularly in the near term, is on the table. But let's not make this sound any simpler than it is. We, we have lots of stakeholders. Nobody can snap their fingers and, uh, and change this situation overnight. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.